Awesome, good feeling. Um, no, it was just, uh, you know, we, we, we had been running a play all, all game where there was a run play out there, so it was kind of a pass play off of that. So ran out there and uh, happened to be pretty open, and some people got some good blocks down the field and just found myself into the end zone. <laughs> you showed off some nice footwork there. Is that one of the more athletic plays you've ever made? Probably so. Uh, I don't know. My mom may tell you different from Pee Wee Ball, but other than that, yeah, uh, I would say so. <laughs> Did you see a different confidence level today from Jake at all? Um, you know, he's a, he, I don't know if it's a confidence level. I know that he goes to work every day at practice and he um, works hard and he fights. And I think that showed today. He had a good week of practice and uh, I think it showed today, Saturday. So. I think there's more of a rhythm maybe of the offense with Kobe kind of playing more, I guess, at that position. Um, I think it's just, you know, Everybody's got to click on all cylinders. It's never, you know, one guy or anything. But Cooker definitely has done a good job. He's working hard, and uh, you know, we're we're rolling a little bit. We're going to run. Did you see any difference in the second half? I think you obviously the offense kind of got going. But as far as the offense goes, yeah. um, Coker specifically. Uh, Coker specifically. I think, uh, you know, I think things were just happening. I know in the first half, you know, some guys weren't catching the ball, and uh, but we we started making catches and started getting hat on hat and things started working out in the second half. So. Michael, what happened? The running game seemed to sputter a little bit. It was off and on today. What was the, what was the, part of the issue? Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, guys were maybe missing some blocks and stuff, but, uh, you know, for the most part, I think everybody went out there and tried hard and got a hat on hat. And, you, seem, sorry, you seem to be playing sort of a blended tight end fullback H back. What, what's, what's your role on a team? Uh, I'd say you're exactly right. You know, H back sort of thing. Uh, I'm usually in there for blocking purposes, but occasionally they'll toss the rock out there to, to me in the flats. But speaking of that, talk about your score. I mean, you, yeah, we're right on that one. It was it was it was a great feeling. Like I was saying earlier, um, you know, we had been. Uh, it's actually a play off of a run play, so we'd been running that run play all all day, and it kind of looked similar. So um, just went out there, and I, I think they were probably thinking it was a run play again, and. Happen to be open in the flats. So. How's it feel to be the underdog going into next week in the Athens Short Hill? Um, you know, we're going to worry about that Monday. You know, we're, we're, we, t we take 24 hours on a win, but uh, I know we'll go out to practice this next week and work hard just like we do every week and try to find a win here next well, Saturday. We have more excited play. or your teammates on the touchdown? <laughs> <laughs> Probably my mom in the stands. <laughs> what does it mean to you, though? Um, it's, it's an awesome feeling. You know, it's. Uh, it, I, I know people say this all the time, but it really is awesome to get a team win and to, after, you know, kind of a gut punch last week when we, we fought and, uh, you know, we came up on the losing end. It was nice to get that team win today and, you know, lay a goose egg 34-0. So. And, Michael, you've been a core special teams guy throughout your career. Talk about the progress last week of Adam Griffin. Say again, I'm sorry. Uh, the progress of Adam Griffith the last two weeks. You've been a cool uh, special yeah, team guy. Yeah, he, he's doing great. You know, these past two weeks, the the onside kick was huge last week with, uh, you know, gave us a chance to get on there and win the game. And uh, I think he's getting his confidence back and, you know, really getting in the groove of things. And he kicks really well. He's a really great kicker. And, uh, you know, he's, I think he's showing it now. So.